I guess it was only a matter of time before the franchise of Love Live decided to dip its little feet inside of the world of isekais. Now, that's not to say that Yohane the Parhelion is an isekai, but it feels sort of like it's trying to be an isekai, but it's not really an isekai. It's, a, it's not an isekai. But yes, I just got done watching the first episode of Yohane the Parhelion, Sunshine in the Mirror, a series that is airing in the summer 2023 anime season. It is... Technically our first full length series that is starting off in the new season. We technically had a short based on Yohane and Reincarnate as a Slime, which sort of gives us a little information as to what Yohane the Parhelion is going to be. But uh, this is my thoughts on the first episode, so let's jump into it. Yohane the Parhelion Sunshine in the Mirror opens up with Yohane, and she's in the big city trying to make her big debut, or at least doing different auditions to become a singer. And she's failing them. I think she's failed seven. I think there was some sort of miscommunication about there being seven or eight. But uh, yeah, after failing her recent one and spending two years in the big city, her mother's finally calling her back. And you said two years, I give you two years. It's your 16th birthday come home. Mainly because his parents want to leave the house and they want Yohane to watch the house. Which this is frustrating to Yohane because she seems to really, really hate her hometown. Her hometown's out in the sticks. It's small. Nothing's going on there. You'll find out through this conversation with Lilaps later on that she just doesn't want to live the rest of her life in a small town with a small job. So she has dreams that are big. It, pretty much. But yeah, when she gets back home, she's reunited with Lilaps. Lilaps is this wolf that is part of the family, essentially. It's not a family member, but it's, she sees her as a sibling. And Lilap sort of forces her to have to go around town and, you know, see everybody, which it's kind of gives a hint really quickly that she wasn't really big in the town itself. Nobody really recognizes her, except for one person, which is Hanamaru, which seemingly is a friend of hers, but Yohane doesn't see her as a friend. Yohane seems to have a struggle with sort of making connections with anybody in this town. Even though she claims that she doesn't have friends, you get an indication that she doesn't want friends. She doesn't want to be locked down there. So even though Hanamaru seems very close to Yohane, Yohane doesn't recognize her. But you'll see later on as Yohane is taken to this one stump in the middle of the forest that she used to kind of do her performances on. At some point, apparently, somebody's seen her doing performances there and the town was making fun of her, so that's what kind of drove her to leave. But apparently, Hanamaru used to always watch Yohane, and she really loved her singing, loves her performances, and that's what sort of inspired Hanamaru to become a baker, to do something similar. I seen how much fun you had performing, so I wanted to do something that I would find fun, which was baking. It gave her inspiration. Somebody that, yes, was touched by her music, which is seemingly something that does really touch Yohane's heart because she felt like she wasn't welcome here, because again, she didn't want to be a part of this town. <laughs> And she wasn't welcome in the big city. Nobody acknowledged her there. So she didn't have any place to be. She was a failure no matter where she went. But yet, Hanamaru shows that, yes, she did have something that inspired somebody else. She had a fan, basically. Well, after Hanamaru requests that she does a performance for her, she does it, and then suddenly, a magic wand appears. <laughs> She's apparently blessed with being a magician, even though she doesn't know how to use magic. She even tries to turn Lilaps into a nice sister, but... It doesn't do anything. In the background, at some point, Yohane senses something. This whole town senses something. Some sort of dread, some sort of feeling that's coming from the forest. As we get a brief shot of the forest, we see that there's a tree that is kind of gaping open and there's a dark mist about it. Kind of indicating this town has been dealing with some sort of dread that is causing problems. Hanamaru even notes the idea that their crops are not turning out good. Which Yohane doesn't want to have anything to do with. She doesn't care. She's like, this is a small town. I don't care what happens to this small town. So my thoughts on Yohane, the Parhelion, Sunshine in the Mirror. So far, a really good looking show. And I kind of got the indication based on the PV. The PV looks really good. And this is Sunrise, so that makes sense because this is one of their money makers. Love Live is a big money maker. And yes, this is of course based off of the Love Live Sunshine group. Now, like I joked about earlier, this isn't any Sekai, so to speak, because it doesn't seem like any of these characters are indicating they've been transported to this fantasy world. Which, yes, we're getting indication this is a fantasy world because there's a talking dog. <laughs> it's got magic and all this other kind of stuff within it. But the setting itself seems to be like more of a cross between both medieval times and modern times. Because you have skyscrapers, you have lights and all this kind of stuff. But then you have other areas like Yohane's hometown, which is looking a little more outdated. So it's got that kind of cross setting there of magic and everything. But, yes, this isn't... Love Live Sunshine itself with the characters being transported to this world. Yohane doesn't know any of these characters. And yes, based on the 
crossover that we got on the side, which is a short, which is based off of reincarnated as a slime characters meeting the characters of this series, it kind of gives an indication that each one of the characters of Sunshine is going to be a different character in this show, whether it be a baker or a hero or a demon king, but all seemingly kind of centered around Yohane and her difficulties in trying to fit in. That seems to be the core concept here, which is probably gonna spin off some stories from it. Yohane doesn't like her hometown. She doesn't feel like she's fit there. She had some bad experience with people making fun of her singing. She wants to be a singer, a performer, but she's not fitting in anywhere that she goes. And I think what the story is gonna eventually turn into is this idea of maybe possibly her finding purpose in this small town, wanting to protect it despite the fact that she claims that she doesn't wanna have anything to do with the town. She's gonna have to probably rise up to protect it in some way. Now how all the other characters are gonna fit into the picture, that's gonna be the big question mark. So far, Hanamaru is just a baker. And again, like I said, it indicates Ruby is a fairy. And again, some are heroes and demon lords and mayors of the town, yada, yada, yada. So that's a long way to say that I don't think so far you need to have any sort of knowledge in the Love Life franchise. If you're just looking for a fantasy show with some singing and performing in it, this is gonna be a show for you. So far, we've had technically one and a half performances. And as usual for Love Live, it's very good looking. I will give Sunrise credit. When it comes to Love Live, their CGI team has perfected performances in CGI. Normally, I don't like CGI in my idol performances, but over the many years of Love Live, their CGI team has perfected this. It is very hard to notice that it's CGI. It doesn't have that wonkiness and that roundness to it. The character designs themselves are on model with the CGI. It looked really gorgeous. The performance that Johanne did in this first episode looked really, really good. Very, very beautiful. And that's again, kind of extended to the rest of the show. So far with this first episode, everything looks really good. The characters are on model. They're very well detailed and everything. They have great designs to them. It stays on model. The environments, the backgrounds and everything look really, really good. And yes, a lot of the visual effects and stuff for like the performances and stuff look really gorgeous. Now at its core, the question mark is, Okay, it can look pretty, it can have great music, but is there substance there? I think so far it's doing a good job. I don't really have really high expectations for the overall story, but what I've been sort of indicated so far is it's doing a good job of really building Johanne's character. I really came into the show expecting nothing of character, but so far I'm getting a good indication that Johanne is struggling with her past, struggling with her future, and just kind of stuck in the middle there. And I think it could have a good story kind of developing again, Yohane finding purpose in this small town, despite the fact that she doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Yanamata is already kind of pulling her into it, <laughs> whether she wants to or not. You were accepted here, you, fr you missed this. Welcome home. There's a lot of emphasis put on welcoming somebody home and at the same time, accepting coming home. There's a tradition in Japan for somebody to be welcomed home and accept to be welcomed home. And they pretty much use that as sort of a core concept of this first episode. So it's already kind of showing me that the storytelling can be really good. Despite the fact that I was kind of leery even coming into the show because truth be told, I have dropped off the Love Live franchise. I, I loved it all the way up until Nijikasaki. Nijikasaki just felt like a high school musical and it felt very jarring with the writing. And this is sort of reminding me that no, despite your issues with this one version of the whole thing, <laughs> they're good at writing, they're good at characters. That's something that I've always loved about Love Live. They're really good at character writing. And so take that, throw it into fantasy, have fun with the characters, give Yohane finally her chance to actually be an actual magician. Although some people would claim that Yohane is not just a chuni, she's actually a magician. <laughs> This is their chance to finally be that. That's the whole joke here, is that Yohane's character was that she was a Chuni. Now she gets to be the actual character she claims to be. So that's all to say that so far, first episode, it's got me intrigued. And I'm looking forward to more of it. I want to get back in love with the Love Life franchise, so I'm openly accepting it. I wanna see Ruby. Ruby was my favorite character from the original series, so I'll get to see her as a fairy. I'm looking forward to her being a Laughing Pawn. And so far, a lot of the chemistry is working out really well as well. Yohane and Lilaps, their chemistry with each other is just super cute. <laughs> Every time she gets mad at Lilaps, claims there's a bug nearby, and apparently Lilaps is really afraid of bugs. And I'll be curious to see what kind of tie-in they have with the actual singing itself, because again, it is Love Live, so it's going to have a, probably a song per episode. It seems to indicate that Yohane's magic is probably based on her performing. So maybe she's gonna save everybody with the power of her music, which I'm perfectly fine with. I, I enjoy like Killer Girl and stuff like that. There's a good series where it has 
the aspect of healing through song. It's technically a concept in the real world. So it'll be cool if they can kind of tie that in with it. So yeah, with all that said, I am looking forward to more. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions of Johanne the Parhelion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment, let me know what you thought of the series so far, if you're gonna be checking it out. Additionally, if you're new to this channel, make sure that subscribe button so you get all my content. I do news reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. I'll be doing first impressions of all the shows of the summer 2023 anime season. So I hope you guys will join me for that. Additionally, if you like this content and you want to support it more, I have a Patreon link, tips link, super thanks, and you can become a member of the channel itself. I greatly appreciate it, but it does. And y'all take care.